Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I thought we'd talk about how to get into outdoor swimming. As the temperature heats up, people start to turn to thinking about going outdoor swimming. It's quite a lot easier to motivate yourself to get out and about when it's uh, nice and sunny like today and that the water is starting to heat up. It's definitely past the coolest point and it's going to get warmer for the next few months so now's a great time to get involved. It might be that you want to hop out and spend time in nature, it could be the appeal of meeting new friends and going new places or it might just be that you fancy trying it out because you've seen so much positive about it in the media to do with mental health. Whatever your reason for doing it, it's really pretty simple and very accessible to get involved. You could engage a coach if you're feeling nervous or perhaps you'd like a bit more of a one-to-one -one experience with somebody who is trained in risk assessment and all of the safety side of things. Another thing you could do is join a Facebook group or perhaps one of the Blue Tits groups or maybe even the Mental Health Swims groups. There's lots and lots of different groups and loads of directories to find a swimming group near to you. The other thing you could do is you could head down to the beach yourself and uh, or perhaps the river or a local swim spot and you could hop in and go for a swim perhaps just in your undies if the need takes. Having the confidence to go for that swim can be much easier if you've got somebody to go with and someone who knows the area and knows the piece of water that you're thinking of getting into. There's a number of ways of finding out about that and engaging a coach is one of them. So somebody who is qualified to look after you and has done all the risk assessments for the area and really knows their stuff. And you can find a list of those on the Outdoor Swimmer magazine's website and I'll drop a link in the description below to that list. Finding a local swim spot, if you don't know of any, can be a bit tricky, but I've recently become aware of wildopenwater.com and they have an app on there which is crowdsourced. So people pop along and they join up and then they'll add details of their local swim spots and then you can pop in a search for your location and it will come up with lots and lots. You'll be spoilt for choice. I'll drop a link in the description below to that app and uh, yeah, I thoroughly recommend that you check it out and if you find a spot uh, that won't be spoiled by lots of people coming to it as well then please also upload those spots and let's grow that directory. So you've decided you fancy giving outdoor swimming a go. It's really easy to get into and you don't need much kit. So you need a swimming costume, here's one I put on earlier. Um, I would recommend wearing uh, a bright coloured swim cap just to make sure they are easy to see from people on the water and in the beach. Um, and then something on your feet. An old pair of trainers will do, a pair of Crocs or something, although they tend to float, or perhaps some kind of water shoes. I tend to use a pair of neoprene booties. It just takes the sting out of walking over stones and protects your feet from anything that's on the riverbed, lake bed or seabed. And then if you'd like, if you've had a go at it and you think, oh, I think I might carry this on, it's worth considering a pair of gloves just to keep the chill away. As you move into warmer water over the summer, that's not really going to be necessary. But certainly if you're finding it too chilly and that's what's holding you back, then a pair of gloves should solve that. When you go to get in, the water will definitely feel cold. There's no two ways about that. It's always chilly, um, but you get used to it fairly quickly. The important thing to do is to make sure that your breathing is sorted before you try and swim. So what I'm gonna do is just duck into the water once I'm about waist deep, and then I'm just gonna bob there for about a minute until my breath is sorted. You can hear I'm sort of struggling a little bit to speak there as it's like, oh, a bit chilly. So here I go. Whoa. 
So there we are, in the water. Oh Just getting my breath sorted. Keeping an eye on where I am compared to my bag on the beach to see whether or not I'm drifting because that's important to know too. So as you can see, I'm here on my own and I've just come down to the beach, but there are plenty of other people in the water and on the side, other swimmers and all sorts. And what I'm doing to make sure that I'm safe is that I've told someone at home where I am and I've told them what time I'll be out. And I'm also gonna give them a call when I'm done. So they'll know if I haven't called, I've got into trouble. The other thing I'm gonna do is I will only swim parallel to the beach just to make sure I don't get too tired because if I do get too tired and I've swum outwards then I'm going to have a bit of a job on my hands getting back whereas if I swim along the beach and I get a bit chill, a bit uh, tired or cold or whatever I can just step out and walk back to my kit. Now make sure you don't stay in too long on the first go enjoying it so much that when you get out things get difficult because you get colder once you're out. About 20 to 30 minutes later is when you'll reach the coldest your body's going to be. So I'm going to get out shortly and what I'm going to make an absolute priority, no matter who wants to talk to you on the beach, is getting my clothes on quickly. One thing I like to do after a swim to make sure that I'm warm enough to be able to travel back home and drive safely is do a little bit of a litter pick. So I've just found one bit so far, but it's a nice way to, I guess, give back to the place you've enjoyed swimming, but also to make sure that you're safe to drive. Um, I really hope you found the video useful and that it's encouraging you to get on and get in and have a swim. There's so many people waiting to encourage you along. We absolutely love it and we can't stop talking about it. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and dropping me a comment. Let me know if you've had that first swim and if not, tell me what's holding you back and if there's anything I could do video wise that could help you out. And if you do enjoy it, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking on my face and dinging the little bell and you'll know when the next one's out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.